Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you basically how to paint a bin. So first you want to probably start sanding the bin. It doesn't really matter which bin it is, you just have to sand it. So next you probably want to go with the base coat. I am using gray, but most people do white, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just skip forward here because it's kind of boring. So next, you want to probably paint the inside after painting kind of the lip. And I honestly don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just... So I started painting the inside, and for some reason, I started painting the outside after, and I don't even know what I was thinking. But since the base coat's kind of boring, I'm just going to skip forward. Alright, so now that we're ready to paint, I'm going to just use three colors. I'm going to use white, a granite type of gray, and black. So first you want to put the first slot probably as your white. Now, this sounds a little bit overboard, but you probably want four to five of your kind of paint slots as the granite gray because you're going to make them darker and lighter later. We're going to need those to blend and in your final slot you're going to probably want to add black. You want black for the bottom and I suggest starting with white at the top instead of black at the top just so it's nicer I guess. So now I'm going to add in the white to all the colors. Now you probably want to add more white to the first gray and then slowly start descending and that's what everyone should do and but what is and but <laughs> so now you want to probably start i keep saying probably i need to calm down so now you want to start with white and just make the entire top yes i just skipped that it's kind of boring, so you don't really, you're not really missing anything. So now take your second, second color, lightest, okay, whatever. You can take your lightest gray or second color in your palette and just go along the edges of the white. Slowly blending around I is what I do, just because it makes it easier. So next, you want to take your other gray and put it around the lighter gray, just like you did last time. Now, that gray wasn't, like, it was too light, so I had to add some black in. And now it looks, well, better. If you don't understand by too light, and it would look fine if it was too light. It actually looked like the other color, so I had to put in a bit white. A bit white? A bit of white. So now um, I'm adding in the next gray, and that part is like all the others. So I'm now gonna put in the other one. Now this gray is better, just I find it looks nice and it kind of matched the other gray, so I'm pretty sure I just went along with it. Now, next is this gray. So, it's like the other ones, but it got a little too light and looked like the other colors a little too much, so I had to add a little black in. As you can see, I'm doing that right now. It looked way nicer, even though it kind of matched the original color of the can. Or not the not the original color. It kind of matched the base coat, so I couldn't see it that much. So now I'm going to add in the black. Just adding it to the bottom, and I thought it didn't spread enough, so I just tried to blend it in, and I feel like it came to the top. I don't understand what that means, <laughs> but it just came to the top, I guess. So sometimes, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but when you blend, like the colors, the other color is wet, so you try to blend it, and it doesn't work, and it just makes those streaky lines. Like, oh my gosh, it is the worst. <laughs> so now I'm just going in and fixing up everything. 
It's not too interesting, but I'll let it pass because it's more interesting than the other things. And I'm going over. It's something I always do because it never looks that good. So now we're going to just, I don't know, patch up whatever you need to. <laughs> For a second I didn't know what I was doing and I'm like, oh, that's why. So I'm now going to do the bottom as a base coat because I want to, like, paint that. Actually, I didn't really want to paint that, but I felt like it that big brush, it wouldn't get into the corners, so I kind of had to use one of my own brushes. So, also the base coat got into the black, so I had to go over that, and then I had, since that got into the base coat, I'm like, oh my god, I'm not doing this again. I am not doing this again. So I tried to put in a little bit of flavor down at the bottom. And this is where it really got me. Because, you know that streaks thing I was talking about before? It's happening. What a surprise. Uh, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh my god, it's ruined. No! It's just... I put in the lighter colors down at the bottom, and I'm like, I wasn't meant to do that. Okay, so now that it's all dry, I have turned it over, and that's done. So there's not much to do left, so I'm going to finish the rim, just like I said I would before, and now it's done. Yay, magic. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Goodbye.